Yay, travel time. Uh, today we're going up to uh, Michigan. We're driving up to Michigan for another road trip. We had done, or I had done, uh, an episode where uh, <clears throat> we, we explored Benton Harbor, but I, I didn't really like the way it turned out. So um, we're gonna get, I think, some more stuff from up there because I think there's a lot of neat stuff that, um, that we can go through. <clears throat> Uh, that we can go and check out up there. So uh, probably definitely more time lapses. So expect some more of those. So as of now, packing, making sure, I always seem to forget something one way or the other. So packing up to make sure that I don't forget anything. And, uh, and we're heading out here shortly. We're heading out and we have the, the issue of the missing cat that seems he likes to disappear and he's still not home. So we're kind of worried we don't know what to do even though he's already been gone for, for days anyway. So I'm gonna fill up his, his food bowl outside. Hopefully he comes back. And hopefully we're home when he does. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't attract any any unwanted animals. Hello kitty, do you want some food? Would you like some more food you already have? There you go. One more. Let's make sure. One last attempt to find the other cat before we before we leave. Loki! 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 Kitty! Well, this gives you a chance to see the backyard at least. We've got our garage, our shed, our, our fire pit. Got a pretty decent yard. I'm gonna go check the back, what I call the cat alleyway. I don't know where the heck he could be spending all of his time. He, uh, I mean, there's a couple of, of wooded areas and stuff around us, but normally he, he comes home. He, normally he's home within a few hours. The latest we've ever had him come home would be, you know, kind of early or, you know, late at night. But lately he's been staying out for a couple days at a time. I left my camera bag and my camera stuff. I left all my camera stuff outside because uh, the bag was a little wet, so I wanted to dry it out a little bit, hopefully. Hopefully all the equipment is okay. All right, so we're getting ready to leave. We're heading out. We gotta go pick up the registration and the sticker for my car, and then we will be, we'll be on the road. We got both kitties locked up they're in kitty jail this weekend. Look at him, he's mad at me. He's upset that I'm making him stay inside. He realizes it, that it's for his own good. We have visual confirmation of two cats. Yes, I know, I know. You're gonna get tortured all weekend. I know it stinks, oh well, what are you gonna do?
We finally made it. We're checked into the hotel. Um, I got ahead, of course I forgot. Um, shorts, so I don't really have anything uh, to go down to the pool in, which, uh, you know, that's not happening. Um, I didn't get to go down to the pool the last time I was in a hotel, and neither did I get to go get breakfast. I don't know uh, if you remember last time, but I was very excited about the free breakfast because it's, you know, it's continental, as, as uh, Jordan Peele would say, it's incontinent. So uh, I was very excited about that. And if you remember, I slept in, I didn't get to go down, so I'm even more excited about that because these waffles are off the hook. They're amazing. You make them yourself it's incredible um so i gotta run i'm going to get some stuff at walmart some snacks some things something to drink you know stuff like that and then we're going to another one of my favorite places which is little caesars which i've been going to since i was a kid and this five dollar pizza and cheap ass crazy bread that they got is uh is really i mean it's just amazing it's incredible I love it. So we're hitting up, we're hitting up Little Caesars as well. Uh, get some pizza, and then back to the hotel. I might be able to get a little swim time in. Um, we can't. Uh, the little ones' bedtime is coming up very quickly here, so they won't be able to join me. But I'm an adult, so you know I can do whatever I want. I guess maybe I don't know. So, I might be able to get a little pool time in, which I'm, I'm very excited about. So pizza, the pool, breakfast, I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. You can't really, you know, who says being an adult sucks? Because I personally think being an adult, it really isn't so bad. You get to do whatever you want. That's pretty neat. Uh, and then tomorrow, we've got some stuff planned. Uh, we're not really sure yet, so we're, we're, we'll see where that takes us. We'll, we'll, Maybe you know later tonight or tomorrow morning we'll figure out what what our plans are. I know uh, I know the little one really wants to go swimming, so we'll probably do that in the morning. I'm not gonna say no to more swimming. So it was funny. My uh, my fiance, I, when I told her that I didn't have shorts, she's like, oh well, uh, you know, well we can still go down. Maybe you can roll up your pants and stick your feet in. I said, oh no no no, I'm going to get some shorts because. I'm getting in that pool. It's happening. So, definitely do some swimming tomorrow. Do the breakfast that I've talked about, and then, uh, and then from there, I don't really know. We'll find out. We'll, uh, we'll see where the day takes us. hotel now or or just hanging out watching some TV eating pizza uh, pizza was good like always uh, still really haven't made uh, plans yet oh I forgot my keys maybe the doors open came down to go to the truck and I left my keys upstairs that might be a problem here to take a moment to, uh, to bring up the fact that I ordered a couple of things. There's, uh, if you guys haven't seen it, um, we posted a, what I'm calling a beta test podcast. The part is going to be podcasting. It's something that I've always always been into. I, I, was, uh, I was a co-host on a few shows uh, a few years back. Those things kind of fizzled out. Um, but, uh, you know, it, 
I decided um, I've, I've always wanted to get back into it. I've always wanted to do something on my own, something I had a little more control over. Um, and it's something that I just kept putting off for, for various reasons. And recently, you know, I've, I've noticed an influx and I've seen quite a few people that are, uh, that are out there that are doing podcasting and stuff. And I just, on a, on a hunch, or, or just not a hunch, but uh, just out of curiosity, one night I, I was looking into, you know, different podcasting equipment, microphones, and things like that. And, uh, I mean, some of the stuff is crazy cheap these days. Back when I was doing it, you know, I invested in a microphone, uh, you know, decent pair of headphones, things like that. And, uh, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't terribly expensive, but now, but these days are... are you know, recently, whatever the case may be, I mean, things are just dirt cheap. It was almost silly not to buy it. Um, I mean, getting ahead of myself, but, um, you know, I was a little hesitant uh, about, you know, one of the big hurdles was, was spending a decent chunk of change. I'm the type of person that doesn't, uh, if something's not super good or super up to my expectations, I get really discouraged and that's one of the things that I'm trying to change with this and then with the podcast ultimately is, is to kind of teach myself or, or accept that um, you know that, that it's okay to learn and, and progress through things you know that, that things don't have to be awesome or amazing right out of the gate um, you know that was a that was a big discourage, discouragement for me for a long time that uh you know, I was worried what, what people would think or, uh, you know, I would get discouraged about the quality of things. But, you know, I've learned that, you know, you can't, can't do things that way. You'll never, you'll never learn. Um, you'll never get better if you don't start at some point. So, you know, once I got over that, I, I would tell myself, well, okay, well, still, you know, it, it being something that I would just be getting into or just starting, you know, spending the money, again, is still silly because, you know, if whatever happens, I get too busy, uh, you know, something like that happens, and I stop, you know, I mean, I can't justify spending a large amount of money on it, and, um, but, when, you know, when I started looking into the prices and everything, I mean, things were so affordable that I thought, well, okay, well, you know, now it's really easy to, to pick up a bunch of stuff and, and kind of just start off and, and practice and learn and and you know learn by errors and, and just uh, just try to get better and get better and that's my ultimate goal with this and, and the podcast and stuff is you know just get better as long as things are improving um, you know it, it's difficult to do things like this when it's hard for you to, to listen to your own voice or look at yourself I know a lot of people are like that um, that's always been a huge hurdle for me. I cringe every time I uh, I have to do something or, you know, feel like uh, it doesn't look good, whatever. Um, but, you know, I, I, I've seen that most people are like that. Um, so I, I'm not any different. So, so I think uh, I realize that other people won't see things that way. So now that I'm clearing that hurdle and I'm basically just... just uh, trying to build up a tolerance to it, you know, and just keep going and keep going and keep going until it doesn't bother me anymore, uh, so that, <laughs> so that things maybe get a little easier for me, that I'm a little more comfortable, and I think, you know, with that, that, uh, things will really start, start to pick up, I mean, we're still early on with this, so, uh, so I got a lot, I got plenty of time, uh, I got plenty of errors to make and things like that, so, um, I'm excited though, I, I finally, I've ordered a couple of things for the podcast, I ordered a couple of other things just today uh, that should be coming in, I'm, you know, really excited, those things, you know, should be getting here, um, one of the other, um, one of the other, I, I guess you'd call it hurdles or, or obstacles is that uh, I really like the idea of, of, you know, multiple people in a room you know, doing a podcast together physically. Um, the, all of the shows and things that I did were all via Skype, uh, which was which was fine. It was it was cool, but um, I feel like that that in room atmosphere might might help things a little bit. That's obviously one of those things that that's really really ambitious. But I, you know, it's not. I mean, unless I had somebody 
you know, that was just as passionate as I was, um, you know, or that into it, which I've got a few people, but, you know, that's something that I, I, I think is going to take time. And obviously, you know, spending the money to set up, you know, some kind of crazy studio or something like that would be silly because, uh, you know, just because spending all this money with, without having anything to, it's almost like a chicken and the egg type scenario. To spend all the money to, to get it set up, well, if I don't have anybody or, I, you know, I don't have multiple people or I don't have a format set up or whatever, um, you know, it's silly to waste money. But if I don't have those people and I don't have the format, whatever, um, that it, it, you know, why spend the money? So uh, it's one of those things that I, I've learned, I've realized, you know, maybe I just need to, to get it going and, and we'll see where it goes. Uh, that it's okay if, if you know things aren't great. I, I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, you know, just again, same thing as long as, as there's a progression. So you know, hopefully, you know, over the course of, of you know the next few months, hopefully, a, you know, a big learning curve will, will be seen. I'm I'm pretty familiar with, with video editing. Um, I edited a lot of different videos. Um, I was using you know a much older version of Final Cut. Uh, it's taken me a little bit to catch up. Uh, you know, we're talking back in the standard definition days. Uh, you know, I mentioned the, the VX2000 before. Um, but, you know, it, that's all I can do. I mean, there's no, you know, there's no other way to do it. So I just really need to jump in with both feet. Um, so hopefully this will help me do that. And, uh, and, and, you know, hopefully as I grow, you know, uh, great things will come of it. Um, so I'm just really excited. I'm really looking forward to the next few months to see where where doing these kind of things takes me and, and the things that I'm going to learn and the you know experiences I'm going to have. Uh, I'm just just getting really really excited, uh, you know, for the future really. So that that's really it. <laughs> that, that that ends my rant for now. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll check back here, check back in in, in a little while, uh, you know, maybe tomorrow, whatever. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I, I don't know if I'm going to turn this into a, 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 like just a weekend vlog type situation or if I'm going to do it day by day. Uh, and we'll, you know, we'll see how that goes. I'll just see how the weekend goes and, and go.